Sometime in the future, perhaps the not so distant future, Earth's magnetic poles will flip, and throughout the duration of this event it will cause the magnetic field to weaken temporarily until it settles in its new orientation. So when the next magnetic pole reversal eventually happens, how could it affect the planet and the creatures that live on it? What are the dangers and potential implications for life and technology on Earth? And should we be preparing for this event? Let's get into it. The Earth's magnetic field is a dynamic field that encompasses the planet. Its most important function from our perspective in regards to life on Earth is to protect our planet and atmosphere from radiation by redirecting highly energetic charged solar and cosmic particles from impact in our atmosphere and surface directly. As without the protection of the magnetosphere, solar and cosmic radiation would gradually strip the atmosphere and Earth's surface would become more like the surface of Mars. These highly energetic particles can also pass through human tissue, damage DNA, lead to cancers and other radiation-related issues. These are risks that astronauts have to account for as they travel further away from Earth or pass through a weaker part of Earth's magnetic field, like the well-known South Atlantic anomaly. For example, NASA have reported laptops crashing when space shuttle flights pass through the anomaly, and in 2012, a SpaceX CRS-1 Dragon spacecraft attached to the International Space Station experienced a transient problem as it passed through the anomaly. The primary source of the magnetic field appears to be from molten iron moving around the core of the planet under enormous pressure, generating electrical currents which in turn produces the magnetic field that encompasses Earth. The magnetic poles aren't fixed in place, however. They're always wandering as the molten metals around the planet's core constantly swirl and rotate, sometimes staying relatively stable for long periods of time. But recently, throughout this last century especially, the magnetic poles have been accelerating faster than we've ever witnessed before. Is this a sign that the magnetic poles are getting ready to flip soon? The flipping of the magnetic poles is estimated to happen, on average, every 300,000 years or so. But the last time the magnetic field flipped was approximately 780,000 years ago, known as the Bruns Matuyama reversal. So you can see how some people say we're overdue for our next flip. Although the geomagnetic pole reversal happens around every 300,000 years on average, it doesn't appear to happen with any predictable regularity, as these magnetic pole flips have occurred as close as 10,000 years apart to as much as tens of millions of years apart. Most notably, a huge period of geomagnetic stability during the Cretaceous period, which lasted approximately 35 million years before the next magnetic pole flip occurred. Scientists studying in this field also know that a magnetic reversal doesn't happen overnight. A single reversal could take hundreds or even thousands of years to complete a flip. And throughout the duration of a flip, the magnetic field becomes jumbled, where multiple magnetic poles could form temporarily in unexpected places, as shown by numerous simulated models. I've seen many doomsday claims over the years stating that when the next pole reversal occurs, the physical surface and orientation of the Earth is literally going to flip over, causing catastrophic earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions and extreme weather to deal destruction on an apocalyptic scale that could be a threat to humanity and life on Earth. But it appears that simply won't happen. It's a magnetic pole reversal, not a physical pole reversal. Which leads us to what I think is the biggest misconception or misunderstanding. That being the difference between the geographic poles and the geomagnetic poles, as they are both very different things and are in different locations. The geographic poles are represented by the axis the Earth is physically rotating on. The axial tilt of the Earth is currently around 23.5 degrees and slowly wobbles between 22.1 and 24.5 degrees over around a 41,000 year cycle. And the geographic poles have been relatively stable like that for billions of years, probably since the formation of the Earth-Moon system over 4 billion years ago. So there is no scientific evidence we've found of an event that can flip the physical orientation of Earth or its surface. The geomagnetic field is generated in the core of the Earth by mostly molten iron swirling and rotating under enormous pressure. 
So as the flow of molten material around the core of the Earth is more akin to fluid dynamics, this makes the magnetic field extremely difficult to predict, and it's why it's always changing, moving and flipping over time. There also appears to be no direct correlation between magnetic pole reversals and mass extinction events in Earth's history. Life seems to go on fine every time a pole reversal happens. The earliest rocks showing evidence of Earth's magnetic field date to around 3.7 billion years old. This chart shows Earth's magnetic polarity changes over the last 169 million years, and we would have noticed extinction level event correlations in the data by now if there were any solid pattern. So according to all the evidence we have, nothing physical is going to happen to the surface or orientation of the Earth when the magnetic pole flip occurs. The geographic poles are going to stay practically the same as they have always been. So no, there will be no apocalyptic doomsday scenario, but your compass will eventually point a different direction. There are some potential risks that the weakening of Earth's magnetic field could allow enough charged particles through to affect electronic technology, navigation and communications. So depending on how weak the field gets, we may have to build extra shielding for electronic devices until the magnetic field regains its strength. But we still don't know yet what measures we might have to take. It may not even weaken that much and may still provide enough magnetic shielding to protect us and our continued use of technology. Apart from our compasses point in a different direction gradually, we won't really notice anything different. The sun will still rise and set around the same time and direction, and life will go on like it always has. The only reason this upcoming magnetic pole flip is a concern at all is because we're living during the first time in history that humans have had access to space, technology that allows us to make accurate scientific observations and measurements, and a society that relies heavily on technology and electronic communications to work and function. So it is a scary thought that a weakened geomagnetic field could have the potential to impact our use of technology. But even in a weakened state, the magnetic field might still be strong enough to keep protecting us and our technology from the charged solar and cosmic particles. Or it may weaken so much that we can't even use satellites or unshielded electronics for some time. We just don't know yet. Another thought I had is that I wonder if these geomagnetic reversals that Earth goes through are a bit like a far weaker version of what causes sun cycles. As the sun goes through a magnetic pole reversal every 11 years when it reaches solar maximum at the peak of a solar cycle, in quite a predictable way. But the sun is so massive you can fit about 1.3 million planet Earths inside it. So perhaps the sun's huge size and density with the enormous pressure within is what allows the solar cycle to be reasonably predictable, compared to Earth's unpredictable periodic magnetic reversals. So far we've found no evidence to suggest the Earth possesses any mechanism to physically flip over or drastically change its orientation. The closest thing to it is the crust of the Earth slowly moving over the surface through tectonic activity, but that's an extremely slow and unrelated process that doesn't affect the Earth's tilt or how we identify the location of the geographic poles anyway. So to summarise, while a magnetic pole reversal could bring some changes and risks for a period of time mainly in electronic technology and navigation, it doesn't spell disaster for life on Earth. The geographic poles and the physical orientation of Earth will remain unaffected, and history shows that life has survived and thrived through many pole flips without catastrophic consequences, and it will continue to do so. We're just yet to see exactly how it will affect our use of electronic technology and navigational tools if we're still around when the next flip happens. So what do you think? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. Please also consider joining my Patreon for ad-free uncut videos or become a channel member here on YouTube. Have an amazing day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care of yourselves out there.